Hello students. Today we will see the second chapter, time domain analysis. The subject name is control system and PLC. So we have seen and also we have derived standard test input signals. And these are step input, ramp input, parabolic and impulse. In this table we will see the parameter and input signals. R of t that is time domain, R of s that is s domain, that is the Laplace of R of, <coughs> R of t. Then we will see the type of function and these are the figures. The first one is step input. Step input that is represented like this and ramp input it has fixed slope and this is the parabolic which has high slope higher slope than the ramp input correct so here step input which is represented as uh, a into u of t a is the amplitude and when we find out the laplace transform of the same is the amplitude and then multiplied by 1 by s so here we got the laplace transform of step input that is a by s second one ramp input the ramp input amplitude a and multiplied by as shown in this figure time amplitude fix a and multiplied by t when we find out the laplace transform of a t a is a constant remains same and the laplace transform of t is 1 by s square the next one is parabolic in parabolic amplitude is a by into t square the laplace transform of the parabolic input signal is a by s cube the next question a by s that is q derive the laplace for transform impulse of steady state error so steady a state is amplitude error. where to derive and it is also denoted by delta t the laplace transform, the laplace of, transform state of delta t error. r is 1 the question may be arise like so these are fine for steady state error what is the effect of input on steady state error or like this also derived relationship of steady state error in terms of open loop transfer function g of s into h of s find ess for step input we see the what is error signal and then what is the steady state error and when you apply uh, standard step input step input ramp input parabolic input then what is the value of ESS we will see so definition the difference between the steady state response and desired reference gives the steady state error means this one is closed loop control system having the parameter r of s c of s r of s is input reference input c of s is controlled output and e of s that is the error signal error this one is error amplifier this one is forward gain g of s this one is feedback gain h of s so it's a closed loop system closed loop control system and here um, suppose this is, a, this is the desired output signal 
suppose this is the 100 degree celsius and actual output goes up down it's a overshoot and undershoot and after some time it, it gives steady state response but it will not reach the desired value so there is some error the desired output is 100 and the actual output is suppose 98 so 2% error is there or suppose it's a final value that is it's maybe degree celsius of any liquid then 100 degree celsius is the desired output but actual output it gives 98 degree celsius so the difference between that desired and actual is 2 degree celsius that is called error steady state error why it's called steady state error because after died out the transient response up to this up to this one from 0 to up to this it's called transient response and then after it is called steady state response so in this time period in the time period of steady state whatever error it produces that is called steady state error okay here we have to focus on error last time we found or uh, we derived that transfer function c of s divided by r of s so at that time we focus on output divided by input that is uh, laplace transform of output signal divided by laplace transform of excitation signal right now we have to focus on e of s the first equation that is e of s is equal to r of s minus b of s that is error amplifier there are two input and one output so here is a negative feedback so r of s minus b of s and e of s is equal to this is the equation first equation r of s minus b of s but b of s b of s is the output of this block and the input of this block is c of s correct c of s because part of the output is applied to the feedback element is the feedback network element having in h of s and the input to the feedback network element that is c of s so the value of b of s is nothing but c of s into h of s so here i have put b of s is equal to c of s into h of s just put up this value in first equation then equation 1 becomes e of s is equal to r of s minus c of s into h of s again c of s c of s is nothing but output of this block correct so input to this block is e of s so output of this block c of s is nothing but product of e of s into g of s so here c of s is equal to e of s into g of s again this value of c of s just put up in third equation then equation becomes like this e of s is equal to r of s minus e of s g of s and h of s just simplify it e of s plus just on this term get left side and the equation becomes like this get common e of s e of s and in bracket 1 plus g of s into h of s then equation becomes like this correct e of s is equal to r of s divided by 1 plus g into h of s so here if suppose hs is 1 
feedback gain is unity then equation becomes r of s divided by 1 plus g of s this is for negative feedback if suppose there is positive feedback then this sign is inverted that is minus e of s is equal to r of s divided by 1 minus g of s so up to this we found e of s that is uh, error signal output or error amplifier but in question what they ask laplace transform of steady state error so steady state error laplace transform of steady state error let's see all these are in s domain so just find out the in time domain when you find out inverse laplace of e of s we will get e of t that is in time domain it is expression of, of expression of error for all time steady state correct so this is the standard formula to find out the steady state error e s s small e suffix double s steady state error is equal to limit t tends to infinite of e of t e of t is nothing but error signal by putting final value theorem we can represent it in s domain now we just find out the laplace in by using final value theorem limit as it is t tends to infinite it becomes s tends to 0 and this small e of t becomes capital e of s and this is the this s put up here because of final value theorem as we have seen in laplace transform so e s is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into e of s but here e of s the value of e of s we already found so just put up this value then equation becomes ESS is equal to limit s tends to 0 s as it is into r of s divided by 1 plus g into h of s so this is the laplace transform of steady state error this is the laplace transform of steady state error correct now as per question what they ask in terms of open loop transfer function open loop transfer function is nothing but this one g into h of s here g into h of s but you have to mention here in sentence steady state error depends on r of s that is r of s nothing but uh, reference input there may be step ram parabolic any having some amplitude g of s that is the forward gain correct so all these are about ESS steady state error but the given question is that to find out for the different test input signal where to find out steady state error for different input signal so there are four standard input signals out of that right now we will find step ram and parabolic input signal the first one is a step input signal with magnitude a so r of s is equal to a by s for the step input as we have seen in uh, last table step input r of s is equal to a by s and this is the standard equation now all time you have to remember ESS is equal to limit S tends to 0 S into this R divided by 1 plus G in H S. So we have to put up the value of R of S. The value of R of S is A by S just put up here. Now S S get cancelled. The equation becomes limit S tends to 0 A by 1 plus G into H of S. Again what it indicate 
if indicate just put up the value of s as a 0 but a this is the constant it's a not uh, function of s 1 it is also constant g of s h of s okay these are the function of s means this limit is applied only to this term so equation becomes a by 1 plus limit s tends to 0 g into h of s again this term this term acting as a constant so you can substitute it as a kp it it is term as position error coefficient this is called position error coefficient and it is denoted by kp so kp is equal to limit s tends to 0 g into h of s just put up this value ess becomes a by 1 plus kp so this is the ess value for the step input signal correct so it is represented like this with respect to time wax is uh, controlled output with amplitude a so there is some error still error it's showing here and that error is nothing but steady state error is equal to a by 1 plus kp so this is the error signal errors steady state error signal for the step input signal second one is consider ramp input so ramp input r of s is equal to a by s square laplace transform of ramp input that is a by s square again again this uh, same formula we have to consider and then just put up the value of r of s here value of r of s is a by s square so s and one of the s is get cancelled so numerator becomes a by s correct a by s now limit s tends to 0 this a by s s is multiplied to denominator terms so denominator becomes s plus s into g into h now applying the limit s tends to 0 where s is there we have to put up 0 value so here becomes 0 and this one this one we don't know the value of g of s and h of s so just put as it is and <coughs> substitute by the k v so it's a velocity coefficient then k v is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s so just put up here the given equation ess ess for the parabolic input becomes a by k v very simple so for the ramp input the actual output is like this under damp over damp or it's around to the desired value and actual value and desired value there is some error so a by k v steady state error is equal to a by k v for the ramp input this is all about ramp input next one is ess for parabolic input so for parabolic input r of s is equal to a by s cube so same e equation we have to derive just put up the value of r of s here then s and s raised to 3 one is get cancelled and s square is applied to the denominators all terms then equation becomes limit s tends to 0 a by s square plus s square g into h of s ok then what it says limit s tends to 0 just put up value of s where is the s function so this this becomes this becomes 0 so a by s square g h of s but 
we don't know the value of g and h of s so just apply k a substitute k a term as a s square g of s into h of s therefore the given equation e s s for the parabolic input is equal to a by k a this is the parabolic input and parabolic is the desired one and this one is dotted line indicates the actual output so after steady state uh, sorry after uh, transient response it gives steady state and it remains same in steady state there is some error which is called steady state error and the steady state error for parabolic input signal is a by k a so a by k a so these are the some the table which indicating that ESS for step input, ramp input and parabolic. ESS for step input A by 1 plus K. Steady state error for ramp input A by K and steady state error for parabolic input that is A by K. So K here K is KP, K is KV and here K is KA. So position error coefficient and here velocity error coefficient and here is acceleration coefficient so this is all about steady state error for different standard input signal